Hey guys, Zolord here. Back with the build of Core Hunter now. Not all the parts I could get to fit on there. So I do have some back here behind the camera. Um, I got some panel, well actually armor add-ons, basically. And his weapons basically are back here. So I'm just going to get those all situated real quick. And then we will start the build. Do you call those that pile? Okay. So, first thing we're going to do, we're going to build a skeleton first, which is pretty easy. Um, you want to take this. Sorry if the snapping hurts your ears, it shouldn't. I've seen others do it. And I hope you can hear me. I have the air conditioner and some music on so it's not boring. Because I don't know how to edit music in, really. And then the only sad thing about Core Hunter is he's got little nub nub arms. Basically, he's got dud arms. <laughs> little teeny tiny. It's little teeny tiny arms. It is. It's funny. And I think someone's gonna come in here and interrupt me in like two seconds. So I will have to start this over probably. And the feetums. Giving us some feetums. So here's the skeleton. Might as well throw that in there. So now he's got some pretty lengthy legs and some pretty short arms. And he's got a bit of a neck there. And he's got some nubs on his back, so that is the skeleton. Now we will start adding the armor. Um, but first, I'm going to add the little pin for his, that goes on his back, where his gun goes. Put it in the top hole right there. And now uh, we will put the torso armor on. Actually, I'll get my little boost here so you can see it. Get this on without messing everything up. Have to push some stuff back. There. Okay, sorry about that. Had to get my little boost. Oh, it's crushing the blades. And it knocks some parts down. Go figure. Okay, back to build. Now we get the torso armor on, <laughs> and now we will add the little add-on piece. This is as high as it goes, guys. It's as high as it goes. Keep that on. It doesn't feel like it's in all of them. Because it's not. I don't know, in a second. Flew away. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get this on by taking this off first, and then putting this on. Oh wow, it was on all the way. I'm smart. There we go. And then the helmet I will put on. Just because it's so freaking cool looking. <laughs> And now we will construct his weapon. So I'm going to take him behind camera and add some axles to the back. Well, to his hands. <laughs> Excuse me. Jeez, I'm burping off the wazoo and I didn't have anything since I got off. Oh, 
which practice for kind of huh? I'm doing the little axle stuff behind the camera mostly because it's not too important. Oh. I screwed that up. Put those on the wrong way. I always put those on the wrong way. I made a practice build yesterday. Without a backdrop or anything. Luckily we're only at five minutes. So you have one hand like that, and one hand like this. So this hand... Well, we'll do the giant weapon first. First thing you want to do is not like the camera. You want to take the ice shield and add a little spike to it. Some little pinholes in the front, and you just put that right in there. Oh yeah, there you go. And that, that's going to bash somebody in the face, I'm sure. And then you take his little old hand and you slide it. And you stick that in the slot and you slide it forward. Like that. And then you take the blades. Doesn't matter which one goes on which side. They're the same freaking piece for crying out loud. <laughs> And uh, I want to ask you guys, how many Voltix Hero Factory sets have you seen at uh, your stores? I haven't seen any Voltix yet. I really kind of want him because he's. I want to. I want to have fun with him and call him Rainbow Man. So, uh, post in the comments below if you've seen any. And by you guys, I'm probably meaning Lego Fool Nine Nine and uh, Croft Studios. <laughs> Okay, so, now we need to add a spike to the gun. Look at Corn Hunter just chilling there like, yeah, I'm going to be a bad arse in about ten minutes. <laughs> Sorry this is so slow, I mean, I, if you want good build videos, watch Lego Lee or Lego Jang. Because theirs are <laughs> a heck of a lot better. They're both sped up, but they're decent. There you go. And now you got his blaster. Now, another thing you want to do is take the ammo belt. And you know that little pin? Well, we're going to slide this in there. And I'm going to look at the packaging real quick. So it goes in like in there all the way. The other day I didn't have it in there all the way. It was getting in the way of stuff. And then you just plug it into the gun. Now I'm going to do that off camera mostly because it's been neck. Push! That's coming out the other side and it is... Sonic Grand Sarah also does good ones. Good builds. Okay. That feels a little awkward. I think that's how it's supposed to be. Something like this. Well, it's an ammo belt. What are you gonna do? <laughs> now we're going to add the armor plates. The meat and potatoes. Well, actually... Uh, and now we add these with time. Oh, geez, we're at nine minutes. I want to. I, I want to try and get this completed before. Basically, we're, you're, you're probably looking at another 12-minute video. Do I mind uploading 12 minutes? No. In fact, using an iPad, I can multitask. <laughs> I could be uploading a video and watching one of my friend's videos. And sorry if I don't watch your videos much, it's just that I... I look at what I get on the digest and sometimes I'll do the research. If not, I'll just get lazy and listen to Death Clock for probably an hour. 
Just saying. Okay. There you go. There is Corn Hunter. Oh, wait. He forgot something. Yes, we forgot his armor. I was just kidding. <laughs> so, nobody call me stupid. Um... There's one. Put it on the right slot this time. The other day I was putting them on the wrong slots. Hold on a minute. There. You don't want to break the claws because you can't really replace those well. Now, this is going to be the one on his back. And he's left with a tumor. Right there. That's kind of an eyesore, but you know what, uh, whatever. It's Coron. You can't go wrong with Coron. Besides, most of the sets are incomplete looking anyway. For example, XT4. And there's one. There's two. And uh, if any of you were wondering, no, I'm not going to Brick Fair. Because, first of all, I don't even know where the heck it is. I don't know where half of these conventions are except Comic Con, the San Diego one, and uh, Toy Fair. Bot Con, on occasion, I do know. But, Brick Fair, I'm just like, what? What is Brick Fair? <laughs> That's seriously how I am. I did not know what Brick Fair was before. Because it's not as popular as uh, Comic Con. Comic Con and Toy Fair are the two big ones I'd love to go to. Because I collect a ton of stuff, man. And we are done with Core Hunter, and it didn't take 30 minutes. <laughs> Why would it? He's. A small hero factory set. Now we just gotta add the little Zamer sphere thingy. Zamer thingy! Here it is! And there it goes into the blaster. What the? So, this has been the build for hero factory breakout. Or doom box, doesn't matter to me. Core hunter. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you later.